Arizona restaurants have been losing millions of dollars a day. Now the governor has given them the green light for dine-in service, but serving customers is going to look different. Atticus Prost is a barista at Songbird Coffee and Tea in downtown Phoenix. The Homestyle Cafe is eager to reopen to full service and welcome customers back, customers who have been supporting them these past few weeks. And seeing a lot more people showing up to support us specifically was really uh, beneficial for that. The cafe already had safety measures in place after the governor's initial order, shutting down the inside cafe and creating social distance between customers, wiping down equipment between transactions, selling protective face masks, and placing a lone condiment table in the middle of the driveway. It was a perfect storm, sadly, for us. $27 million. That's how much money Arizona Restaurant Association President and CEO Steve Chukri says state restaurants are losing every day. A few weeks ago, we, we started working with the governor's office about how would a reopening look like? What would it look like? What's the best way to do it? Here are some of the guidelines the ARA is recommending. Menus that can be thrown away or laminated ones that can be thoroughly clean. And employees wearing PPE like masks and gloves, depending on what the restaurant feels comfortable with. Not going to see items on the table like you would. Salt and pepper, uh, sweet and low, if you will, Tabasco sauce. Chukri says technology could also play a new role in service. Texting when your table is ready. Go ahead and go wait in your car. Uh, don't crowd the lobby. Those types of things. Chukri says safety is the number one priority, a priority echoed by Atticus, who says whatever happens, customers also need to take responsibility when they go out for a bite to eat. Our safety is just as valuable as theirs, and even though we want to be here to provide such a good service for them and for ourselves, we do need their help in order to make it happen. And Chukri tells me the ARA is already working with supply chains to make sure there's adequate supplies for this transition. In downtown Phoenix, Josh Sanders, 12 News.